Hello. Hey. Hey. What's that? Yeah, my mom sent me a family heirloom that once belonged to my grandmother. Can you believe it? A year ago, I didn't even have a family, and now I have heirlooms, for crying out loud. <laughs> Up. Is this mink? Yeah. Why would my mother send me a fur? Doesn't she know me but at all? Plus, I, I have a perfectly fine coat that no innocent animals suffered to make. Yeah, just some nine-year-old Filipino kids who worked their fingers bloody for 12 cents an hour. <laughs> that didn't happen. I made that up. Hey. Hey. So listen... You know my friend Chris who owns the crematorium? Crematorium Chris? Sure. He said that he would cremate my fur coat for free if I, um, you know, bring in the next person I know who dies. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at these pelts. Don't get too attached. She's having it cremated. What? Phoebe? Oh, honey. <laughs> Honey, I know you're quirky, and I get a big kick out of it. We all do, actually. But if you destroy a coat like this, I mean, that is like a crime against nature. <laughs> Not nature. Fashion! This is fashion? Okay, so to you, death is fashion? That's really funny. Yeah, here's, here's Phoebe um, sporting, you know, cutting-edge hairy carcass from, you know, the, the steel traps of wintry Russia. I mean... Really think this looks good? Cause I do. I can't sit here anymore. I have to walk places. Peach, what are you doing with the coat? How about the whole animal rights thing? Well, I've been reading up, and for your information, minks are not very nice. Okay, I admit it. I love this coat. Okay, I, it's the best thing I've ever had wrapped around me, including Phil Huntley. Okay, stop tormenting me! This is mink, okay? They're mean, and they hate squirrels. And, you know, okay, most of these probably wanted to be coats. All right, fine. No, I get it. Here. You take it. Are you happy now? I'm cold! Ah!